beauty in the Black Lagoon. It's too late for us, but at least I can let the world know what happened here. I was on night shift yesterday, so I was taking a nap in the bunk room around noon. I was half asleep and I heard a kid, a little girl, laughing. Or was that all in my head? I woke up at 19.30. There was some sort of ruckus in the passageway. Drew, one of the engineers, came in and said there was something going on down below. Maybe a riot. He looked pale in the face. He told me he was going down to check it out, but he never came back. I must have been around 19.50 when I heard the scream. I went to the laundry room to check and saw Clark being eaten by some sort of blackish monster. The monster turned and started coming towards me. Huge, shark like teeth snapping in its jaw. I just screamed like a little girl and ran for it. It's my kind of man. Now I'm huddled up in the bunk room, shaking as I write this. There's a whole host of these creatures looking in the past doors now. I can still hear the screams now and then. There's no way I'm getting out there now. And that's it. I've written everything I know. Giovanni Finetti. Uh, before we get out of here, I want to grab this guy. The MP hem handgun with two rounds of ammunition in it. Hooray. Alright, I guess we're going to have to face uh, all of these uh, zombies with this. We're back. I had to, uh, had to take a wee bit of a break. A wee... We brig, frantically trying to put my cell phone back in my pocket here. Okay, uh, we are now looking for the next couple of files, which are going to be this way. I may have already grabbed these, so if I did, I apologize. In fact, the more I think about it, the more I believe I did. Giovanni's will, he's talking about... Oh, we saw some monsters. And then there's the letter from Jim. Jim's letter. The letter from Jim. Where is Jim's letter? There it is. Yeah, I miss you. Love, Jim. So now that we have... Yes, we have the fuse. We have the fuse. We're going to go chasing after Evelyn. I'm just kind of being careful because you can see that guy down there. And he likes nothing more than to chew on your butt. The first thing we want to do is make our way all the way up to the top of the ship. Well, as far as we can get up the top of the ship. We can't go any further up there. Oh, what? fuck, I forgot all about you. What? Why? You need to remember, so we can be a family. Oh, you suck, demon child. This is unskippable. Um, you already saw this in the videotape from earlier, so I'm just going to skip through this. Now do you remember? Yes, Evelyn. I remember. Can we be a family like before? No, Evie. We can't be a family. We were never a family. We will never be a family. Then I don't need you anymore. <laughs> oh, child, you are so pathetic with your weak ass jump scares. We're gonna continue going through here. No, we're not. We're gonna continue going through this way. Uh, there's not a lot we can do in this area right now. But we do need to grab this guy. Contents have been taken. I can't even try to read that. We need to get some corrosive to get through this door, so we're going to be coming back here in a minute. Right now we need to keep oh yeah, you look off. We need to keep going upstairs. You want to avoid the first floor as much as you can for right now. Because you only have those two shots. And from my experience, those are not gonna be enough to kill anything. 
You think she would be better off with the most of her guy? I have no idea how there's still power on this fucking it still works. ship. Wait, shouldn't this camera be able to see me? Isn't that this room? Ethan. I hope I make it in time. Okay. Bottom level. Can I get this bug to work? Ah, oh, damn it. Stop it, Evelyn! Oh, fucking hallucinations. Where is she? If you do it right, you can get her to appear right in the middle of this desk. Like, I don't know. You're not, you're not quite committed to the bit, are you, Evelyn? There's a way to unlock this um, and get the uh, machine gun, but we don't need that, so we're gonna not make that a priority. In fact, I don't know if I remember how to do that. The place we want to go out. is down here. Come on. Thank you. Damn invisible walls. Now we have a knife. Ho ho ho. Hey, what's the one like that? Eh, 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 eh. Nobody fucks with me. Eh. 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 Grab this note. It should be the same um, as the note that we got previously. And then we're going to get our items. Now we can start fully exploring the ship. Believe it or not, that was all just a prelude. That was just a tribute. Oh, hey. Turns out that wasn't what I wanted. We want to pop in here and do this puzzle first thing. Classic painting puzzle. Green on top, purple. There we go. And that gets us the corrosive. There's also some stinky dank growing out of there. Mmm, I like it raw. I may be from the south, but I just eat mint. Just with my terrible hands. Snag that, and let's head in here for some sweet, dank bonus items. Not being followed. I hate those guys, they're so gross. You want to do this first, because not only does it give you a backpack, but it also gives you a new corrosive. Snag that herb. It appears at first that we've locked ourselves in here, but with the elevator now functioning, we can climb out through here. I 
Also, make sure to grab this note. The cable is completely fried. We had a replacement, but we had to use it to fix something in the third floor sick bay. You're going to want to use, or you're going to have to ask Dr. Waddell for it. I need it down in the number two engine room, but I can't get down there unless we get this thing working. Do way. Now that we have the most powerful handgun in the world, stack this mister everywhere and see why we can't get any further up here. Even though it seems like these would be really easy to move, I mean, you gotta commit. That's your problem, girl. Mm hmm. Can't see it, but I'm wagging my head back and forth. Now that we're back on the second floor should have access to a secret area that gives you a whole bunch of goodies. Yes, that would be this right here. Specifically, it's going to give you a bunch of remote bombs, a lockpick, and a Mr. Everyone. There's a there's a call out. Survivors is just suffering. I know shit. Got some chem fluid. Do you mind if I throw it in the microwave? Oh no, go ahead, bro. More secret areas. Some more chem fluid. Whoops. Okay. Well. There we go. Now I have extreme stanky. Guess we'll take a quick detour over to the captain's cabin so I can get that there uh, machine gun. I feel like something's sneaking up on me. I feel like someone wants to sell me something! Yeah. Take that, you jerk. Uh, do, 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 do. Now we want to go to the third floor. We're almost done with this section, which again, you know, even though it is the weakest section of the game, in my opinion, it's still pretty good. It's like very atmospheric and creepy. Make sure that you use your lockpick here. Burn antique coin! And even though this door was fucked up beyond all recognition earlier, you still have to corrosive it open. So I guess I guess that's part of how the game like forces you to explore, is by only giving you like one or two corrosive unless you do a puzzle and locking off all of the areas behind those key items. This is weird. This door can't be interacted with. But if you look at the map, it leads right back to the control room. So like, I don't know why they don't let you unlock that door. And it's the fact that Mia doesn't even try. She's not like, oh, this door is held shut by some mysterious force. I'm sorry. What is this horrible noise behind me? Did you? Oh, 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 
gross. Man, come on. That's grody, dude. You don't need to be like that. Now we have everything we need to turn the elevator back on. 